So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can prove me wrong, but I don't think that you're a friend to woman. How, what it... I knew I shouldn't have picked her. I knew I shouldn't have picked her. Of all the gin joints and all the towns and all the world, she walks into Donald Trump's. Yes, Mr. Trump's. Of all the folks there, you really shouldn't have picked her. And oh, it only got worse from there. If you become president, will a woman make the same as a man? And do I get to choose what I do with my body? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. You're going to make the same if you do as good a job, and I happen to be pro-life. Okay? Hopefully she doesn't want to be an actress anytime soon. Anyway, <laughs> that sassy young woman was Lauren Batchelor. She's a staffer for the Jeb Bush 2016 campaign. What a surprise, yes. She was a planner, or at least that's what Donald Trump is saying right now. It took some time, but eventually, after a little digging, it was revealed that this was not Lauren's first gig in politics. Along with her work for Jeb, she also interns for the New Hampshire Senator, Kelly Anoit, as well. Of course, Donald Trump fired back on the Twitter, saying, quote, The arrogant young woman who questioned me in such a nasty fashion at no labels yesterday was a Jeb staffer. How can he beat Russia and China? Followed by, yes, Trump again. How can Jeb Bush expect to deal with China, Russia, and Iran if he gets caught doing a plant during my speech yesterday in New Hampshire? And that was retweeted over 1,400 times. Lauren's social media history has since been altered or completely deleted on the LinkedIn. So what do you think of this whole scenario? And would you hire her to be in one of your movies? Well, first, <laughs> first of all, I am no Jeb Bush. Bush defender or anything else, but we are way overstating this. Way too early. I'm not sure we should do that. From what Page said that she was a staffer on a, that campaign. Yeah, and she. An uh, there's intern. also pictures. She's an intern, and mm -hmm. there's also pictures of her with every other candidate out there. I saw a picture of her with Marco Rubio. Yeah. <clears throat> look, look. She appears to be a volunteer for Jeb Bush. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that has been shown to indicate that Jeb Bush had anything to do with her showing up that there. That didn't look staged to you at all. No, it looked staged by, her. staged by her. By her. That's right. Yeah. I, I think it. she's by an obnoxious her. punk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that Jeb Bush no, sent her right. there to be an obnoxious punk. Right. Guys, we're picking up here on social media craziness that happened in the period of an hour, and we're reporting it as news. And we shouldn't do that. She, I'm, I've got someone saying, why did she delete her history? I don't know. Why did she stand there with her her hands on her thing? You know, I, I you can't make these allegations until they're substantiated. And I think Heather's going to agree with me. on Before this. you jump in, can you call a female a punk? <laughs> I just it's not did. a male. It's not a male gender no, kind no, of base. I, I'm not, not a sexist. No, think, think of the punk rock movement. Yeah, there was uh, a lot of female punk rock. You make a good point with the punk rock movement. She's a okay. this girl. She's, She's an, an actress. Question. She's an actress. I mean, you talk about is she going to be in a movie? She has a history of being involved in and acting as well. I mm -hmm. think that she definitely mm -hmm. did this on her own. I think she has affiliations with a number of politicians. We don't know if she definitely I, did this on her own or not. I that's believe right. that's. Right. Which is why we shouldn't be claiming she's a plant. Who we claimed don't. anything? I said, well, the, Trump campaign. You I said the Trump well, campaign claimed that she was uh, a plant. We said you want to rewind the tape? Plant. Yeah. Okay, we'll rewind the tape. Please <laughs> do. Ultimately, we will find out that this was her decision, that she went out on her own. And I don't think there's any campaign that is dumb enough to send a young girl who is so overacting mm -hmm. to ask these types of questions. I think that she wanted to get a little bit of attention. She yeah. wanted to do something that she thought would be interesting. Mm -hmm. And she found herself in a whole lot of hot water. Rothman? No, I wouldn't put it past a campaign to be not dumb enough, as you put it, to, to put somebody out there like this. There are definitely campaigns that are that dumb. Uh, interns and staffers get put in this position all the time. I wouldn't put it past a campaign to do this. But when you do it, they stay on the candidate's message. This woman sounded like a Democrat. She was going off on, where, are you going to stop me from doing what I want with my body? And am I going to make enough as much as a man in Hillary 2016? That was just not the, the, the Jeb Bush message. So if she was a campaign plant, she was way off message. I, and I think that there's something to be said. Yes, we've seen plants in the past. We've seen Trump himself have plants in his audience when he announced his candidacy mm -hmm. to support his, his candidacy. Right. Mm -hmm. So we do see that, but we don't see them this this dumb. We don't see people who come out in such a ridiculous way. Lost in all of this was that Trump's answer was just fine. Yes, yeah, so the answer was just fine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He should be happy that this girl asked such a 
silly question in mm -hmm. such a silly way. Are we going to see more plants, whether they do it on their own or not, at, because there's so many town hall events now, and it's so easy to, to insert yourself when in these situations? There are definitely plants at almost every... I, I remember following the uh, John Edwards campaign mm -hmm. and seeing the same guy get up at four different events and asking the same question, right? So you will see plants, but I promise you, when you see them, you won't know they're That's plants. Right. They're That's not right. going to be silly people like That's this. Right. Wasn't the guy who asked uh, Trump, Trump about, you know, the, we got to get the Muslims question. out of here yeah. and the president's a Muslim and he had like the worst voice ever and that seemed like bad acting as well. He was a plant as well. Well, there's an argument. People are saying that. There's, nothing's been proven. Nothing's but I think shown. that you see that consistently in every campaign. Right, right. Okay. Well, either way, I, I don't even think Lifetime could hire her at this point. <laughs> or the <laughs> WB on the Vampire Diaries because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do you think of Jeb Bush's alleged plant? Go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments and let your voice be heard. We may even read him later in the show. Up next, changes are coming to Planned Parenthood. We'll tell you what.